In this Wee Bang technical insight video, we're going to talk about shaft drive. Now, to explain to you what shaft drive is, shaft drive is another method of actually transferring power as opposed to the traditional belt drive system. Now, I think everyone who's used a lawnmower or worked on a lawnmower would have seen a lawnmower belt like I've got in my hand here. This is probably the most common and typical way that power is transferred from a self-propelled or a variable speed model where power is taken from the engine and transferred to the gearbox. The way it works is on the end of the crankshaft, you have a pulley. Think of it where my thumb is here. The belt goes around one side of the pulley and on the end of the, or the top of the gearbox, you'll have another pulley. So effectively, as the engine spins, it allows the belt to spin and it transfers the power to the gearbox, which then allows for the machine to become self or variable speed. Even though belt drive models have been around for a number of years, they do have their advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is they are relatively lower cost in comparison to shaft drive models. However, the disadvantage is they need much more maintenance. The reason they need much more maintenance is that over time and through use, belts can overheat, stretch, break or burn out. The most common reason for this is actually because of lack of maintenance. If you actually read the manual of any lawnmower that you've purchased before, or looking to purchase, it'll tell you that on all belt drive models, regular maintenance is required. In most cases, it might say every 10, 15 or 25 hours, remove the covers underneath the lawnmower and clear out the grass that inevitably build, builds up around the belt. As that grass builds up, in some cases, it can actually cause the belt to jump off or it can sit between the belt and the pulley and cause excess wear and damage. We feel the big advantage of a shaft drive model is that you actually have a much less need for maintenance. The reason you have a less need for maintenance is because the shaft that I'm talking about here, as opposed to the belt, actually sits above the cutter deck. Now, what do I mean by that? As I said earlier, the belt sits and travels underneath and sits under the deck. Whereas, as you can see here from this illustration, where my hand is, is effectively the top of the deck. The output shaft is coming out of the engine and is transferring the power directly into the gearbox. So it means that you don't have the need for the big covers underneath the deck to actually protect the belt, which gives another huge advantage. It means that you've got this powerful 196cc engine transferring 3.6 kilowatts of power either directly to the gearbox or directly to the blade. And because you've not got the covers underneath the deck that you would get on a belt drive lawnmower, you get much more um, airflow and much more space for the grass to be cut, collected or mulched and most importantly thrown at the back of the grass bag. So again, that's another big advantage for going for a shaft drive model is due to not having the covers and belt, you've got much more productivity and much higher performance. Another thing to consider when you're looking at the shaft drive model is like I said, it's the reduced maintenance costs and service costs. Again, the belts are relatively low cost, but when you're buying a shaft drive model, you can almost, you can almost say to yourself, actually, the reason I'm spending the extra money is because what I'm paying for is power, performance, and added reliability. In many cases, the person buying the lawnmower, buying the lawnmower might be yourself, but you might actually give it to another member of your team or someone that you employ. Now, you can't always guarantee they're gonna do that um, service and maintenance work in the required interval. And you know what happens? They don't, do the, they don't do the maintenance work, the grass builds up, the belt snaps, and you have to go back to your de dealer and get a belt replacement or work done, and it's a loss of um, downtime, and it's a loss of income. So that's one big advantage of going for a shaft drive model, is that you're effectively purchasing peace of mind. So I hope that gives you an overview of the benefits of shaft drive. So to summarise, it's a direct power transfer. There's less need for maintenance, as there's no belt to look after or covers to um, take off to, to remove the grass. And it's fit overall a much simpler system, which gives much better performance due to the um, extra space underneath the deck due to not having the covers. Hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.